Hello YouTube modelers. Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to thank all my subscribers and viewers for tuning in and supporting my channel. So let's start off with a shop card shout out. Receive Jeff Donahue Scale Modeling. I remember when he built this on his channel, this um, coal truck. He builds a little bit of everything, military and cars, but he seems to like the World War I period, armored car, the French Chamon tank, and the German Sturmpanzer wagon, but he seems to like that period. Um, this truck does remind me of the Atlantis kit I just bought that was based on the monogram Mack Bulldog trucks, but very good build. Check out Jeff. It's a great channel. I received the model hobbyist, Thomas. I like his card. That looks like a die-cast metal body model kit. And I say that because the door, the hinges look like metal. But nice card, Thomas. Appreciate you watching my channel and um, commenting. And he's relatively new, but um, he's building subs up really quick. Does to assemble his cars. So I also received Dan the Man, 60s Rule. This is his new car. Has that black Ford Connell line van and I guess is a Ravel chopper. He builds everything recently, um, some planes too. Airfix, I think, or from uh, older Antica issues of planes. And he builds cars and obviously motorcycles and also spaceships. Um, so thanks for the uh, motivating words in the back of all those cars, guys. So I'm going to leave links to their channels in my description. Check them out if you haven't done so already. And as far as um, bench update, I am done with the Plymouth Duster kit, but I will wait for Chuck to be done with his so that I will reveal around the same time. He has to take care of some things, so once he's done with that and he finishes it, I will coordinate and we'll release it at the same time. But I am done with the duster. The mellow yellow, I'm still waiting for um, Frank to be done so I can release the video. So I have two models. I will release the, um, the final reveal when my buddy build, uh, my buddies are done. So what kit am I going to start next? I'm going to start... A military kit so what I think is that I'll probably mix it up a little bit maybe every two or three cars I'll build a military because I do enjoy building planes as well so I left the cellophane wrapper to remind me that this was a kit that I purchased at Ollie's $7.99 I did take a look at this kit already so I will let's open it up let's see what's the spring in the box different languages it's a two-in-one kit Ooh, let's see if there's a year on this. Hmm. No year. They seem to give you parts for um, damaged parts if you want to. So you don't have to go over the plastic parts with a hot metal pin to duplicate like bullet holes or battle damage. So it has battle damage parts. I would probably weather but I don't know if I want to put damaged parts on it. Um, I chose this kit because I also want to practice my airbrushing because I bought some acrylic. I think I decided on airbrushing acrylics indoors because I think they have the least amount of odor out of enamel and then forget about lacquer. So I took a quick look at it. Um, I think I'm missing a canopy, so I'm going to have to reach out to round two and have them send it to me. Because I only have the Skyhawk, but not the Phantom. So let me open up the bags. I'll be back. Alright, so let's review the um, A4 Skyhawk first. So in unbagging this kit, I almost forgot how cute and small these 172 scales are. Because I used to build 172. I started out building 172 before moving up to 148 scale. The 148 scale is nice, large details, but 172 can also be cute. 
takes up less space. So here's what I mean by battle damage. It comes with the fuselage shell shot out in the exposed frame. Or you can choose the pristine condition that looks like the rocket tubes maybe, the wheels. It's a delta wing jet kind of. So it's more triangular. The wing surfaces. Um, so up lower and upper wings, missiles, armament, nose gear, probably parts of the jet. And oh, there's the battle damage portion. See how exposed frame? Like as if someone chewed on it and they have the perfect one. Some more battle damage. Or you can choose, I guess. Where's the pristine? But anyway, nice that it comes with pilots. I guess the details are really not that great on the pilots. It is a Lindbergh, but good enough. Here's the clear plastic, as I said. Here are the decals. And the instruction sheets look simple enough. The great thing about 172 scales, when you're done, they take up less room. You can probably stick them back in the box if you wanted to. The painting. Okay, so that's the Skyhawk. Um, let's move on to the Phantom, which I believe they did not package my clear um, canopy. So here's the two left and right fuselage. The fuel tanks or bombs. The cockpit tub. Two pilots. Not much detail, the kind of vague face. So, low on detail, but it is a Lindbergh, and that's why. But I always find Lindbergh to have high in play value. As a kid, when you're done, they were usually very sturdy, so you can play with it, even though they do lack scale model detail sometimes, but that's okay. We'll make it work. As long as I know up ahead, up front, what I'm getting. Um, again, the battle damage pieces. It's a boss that fell off the tree. Looks like the jet nozzle ends and the nose cone. So, not too many pieces. I'm really assembling these models so that I can practice my military flat airbrushing. Here is the decals. I like these. So if you spray paint it in medium or dark gray, these will come out as low visibility which they have in the more modern day military plane as opposed to the red, white, and blue. Let's check out the instructions. Southeast Asian camo or probably gray. So that's pretty much it. I wonder if I scan too fast. Simple enough. Uh, does it say round two on this box? Because I noticed it. Oh, I wonder if I'll be able to get the part. Because it does say J. Lloyd, not round two.
Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get the part. Huh. Okay, so I'll see if I can get the part. The um, canopy for the Phantom.